Okay, we are live from okay. Hawaii. <laughs> yes. And today we're going to have a demo of the uh, latest mobile uh, app for PIMS completion management based on this Flutter uh, framework. framework that uh, it's, uh, yeah, that will be exciting to see. So in a little while, we'll uh, call up Svein Tore and Gaute, who will uh, present that. Before uh, we get to that, we have Klaus Hauge with us, uh, and he will present what's happening on the status reporting. Status reporting has been a part of uh, uh, PIM's R4 product for uh, many years, and without any big changes uh, throughout the last decade. But now we have uh, quite some interesting stuff going on. So um, closer, can, uh, close, can you uh, take over and present uh, how uh, what you are uh, working on and how it looks like right now? Yeah, I can present. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're trying to create this uh, stage reporting uh, on web. Web version and uh, uh, we changed the way this 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 is the consolidated status report. So if you're gonna do uh, consolidated reports, uh, this will be a good choice, I think, in the future. And uh, for everybody, uh, yeah, before we have used it more for cost, maybe, but uh, it should be maybe more widely used now. Uh, it's based on a Word template. Um, so that's a big change from before. Uh, this is, um, and we use these tags. Um, so this can be also set up by uh, anybody, I guess, with a word template from the company that you're working for. Uh, and then you add these tags in um, in Word. Uh, it's just uh, text, but it has to be written like this. Uh, and you can um, do reports, tags for reports, uh, and tag for texts and images, uh, like this one. You can also put stuff into tables, into the, um, the Word template, so that you can arrange things. Um, yeah. And when you're done with this uh, template, you upload it into PIMS, or replace it if you're going to do changes. And then you can merge this to create uh, the word uh, with the content. And when you're adding the content, you can set up sections. So you can set up the world summary and a lot of sections if you want to. Uh, and each of these sections has a tag that corresponds to the template. So you can copy the tag and paste it into the, um, the template where you want it to be. Uh, you can set up responsibles for each section um, so that yeah, the contributors uh, can get links to, to the input screens. You can also set up uh, reports from PIMS. So you can take any report from PIMS and set it up, search it uh, up in um, here, and you can add filters. And then you get these tags also, uh, which where you can add to uh, the template. You can also remove the headers. So if you have the report, uh, you don't want to have uh, the headers because there's also a logo sometimes in the header of the report, so you can remove this. Uh, so you only get the template uh, from the Word, Word file. You can have attachments and you can see the tags, uh, all the tags from the Um, yeah, and let's go to when you add the um, responsibles, you can send notifications to the users so that he, they get an email uh, with the link to this page. So I only set myself up as a contributor for one of the uh, input sections. So it looks like this now. Uh, I will also, if I had a previous report, I can uh, link it to this one and see what I wrote the previous month or week. Uh, there's also an option for the users to add uh, images inside their text. And then they need to tag it like this and they can add an image. For instance, there's this image for the add. Um, yeah. 
factory report uh, when all of this text input is in we generate the complete report and then we can of course edit this um, this word file and then we get this PDF in the end so now you see the uh, the tags are replaced with the images um, word um, arranges this table of content for you and then this was the image the one of the persons you could write text and add images these are reports added as tags um, yeah this is complete reports uh, with the headers removed so um, yeah you can also add the two reports to one page uh, remove the headers so it looks kind of clean and nice yeah that's uh, more like more or less um, the whole uh, module it's based on the text for this template okay uh, good uh, interesting um, and uh, we got one question here from even uh, week do each attachment also get a tag he asks uh, the attachments here are basically attachments in the end of the report so here it will only be added to the end of the report uh, but you could in the section you could add uh, if you have uh, an image then you get the tag and you can set it up how you want it in the section. So if you have four pages, you can add four tags here and then get it into your text. Okay, good. Uh, and a question from uh, which is also interesting to know is when do you think this will be ready to release? Um, there's some small changes yet to come, but uh, I think the first version is ready pretty soon so uh, a couple of weeks i think okay we will, right. uh, so for basic version. the release that we have first monday of uh, the month uh, in october then then we can expect to have this one available yeah and uh, the way it works is that this one is on the side of the existing one so it's basically a new namespace uh, a new area where this re this functionality is located a new module yeah, it is, and it, we're trying to make this a more general. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, a general. Oh, good. Thank you, Klaus. Very good. Uh, then we uh, are interested to see how it's going with uh, Svein Thor uh, and uh, Goethe, who is, uh, might be ready to show how uh, PIM's completion management looks like on an Android device. Yeah. So, Gert, are you uh, with us? And uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I am here. If you uh, share screen, then uh, we'll... Uh... Gert, you need to share screen then. Uh, ben, uh, and uh, before he start, first of all, I had a question also here. Is it, was it the Hawaiian party you're going to tonight, or was it the bad taste? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. So, we have got a better <laughs> question. Somebody was actually asking where we bought this shirt. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll okay. come back to that. <laughs> yes. uh, okay, uh, welcome to this uh, sneak peek of our latest and greatest mobile app for, for the PIMS uh, completion module. Um, we have, um, this is like a field inspection application. We have had this like a web browser based one for a few years, but now we have decided to, to develop this as a native uh, native app. Um, uh, and uh, the reason why I think Yoni and Jan Christian is coming back to that a bit later. So there was the intention to, to join you now from this uh, Android app uh, tablet uh, myself, but it was not able to log that one into the live event actually. So we need to, uh, last minute here to uh, last minute to, to do a switch. Where Goat is simulating this from his PC, and I'll uh, have to uh, I'll will talk, and he will simulate it. Um, so yes. Um, so, furthermore, um, 
I guess quite a few of you don't know uh, mechanical completion and, and commission that well. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I don't think you, you need any background from this discipline to understand uh, how the, the purpose of this app and, and uh, how, how it works. Um, an essential part of uh, mechanical completion and commissioning is really to, to uh, go out physically, go out in the construction yard to see that uh, all equipment, what we call tags, all the components are installed according to rules and regulations and that it work is installed according to spec. Uh, and actually that is what this field inspection app, app is uh, helping you doing helping you do uh, and what how it's done is that we have a set of predefined checklists for each type of equipment uh, and these are linked to all the equipment on the site and then all these foremen and the different uh, personnel is going out in the field with this tablet pc and and check uh, and take off that everything is completed according to to these checklists another part of this uh, the field application uh, is um what we call punch uh, items or punch list, which is really deficiencies. If some, if the if the equipment is damaged or if it's not uh, installed uh, properly, then um, we add them to this punch list or add that as a punch item. Uh, we have a category A punch items, which are critical items, and we have category B, which is like more non-critical items. And these two parts with the punch items and the checklist are the integral part of the field inspection application and actually it's the integral part of the whole PIMS uh, completion application. So over to the to the good stuff. Uh, maybe we can start uh, presenting uh, what we have, have in, in the system there. Uh, I mentioned this web browser based thing that we have already are already using, but also we have now newly developed a new dashboard. It's going to be released the 7th of September, I think, and we have actually incorporated that dashboard into um, into this new native app, which is really cool. So if you, the first thing that meets you when you log into this uh, new native app is this uh, screen here, and it's, as you see, this is within one domain. We have three projects, which is like a sub level below a domain. So if we, we click on the demo project, for example, uh, Gauta, you need to help me out. Yes, and then we see uh, all these tiles, which in a way are more detailed information for this specific project. You see everything from which I just mentioned, all the about punch items, about check items, and we have the two phases, which are mechanical completion, MC, or uh, which is really the static testing where you see that things are installed uh, properly and then you have the commissioning which are the dynamic testing where you actually simulate really uh, this equipment in operation but today we are going to focus on the on the um, mechanical completion part so if you click on the punch items uh, go there uh, then it, it, it scrolls down to that specific graph uh, in this case, it's uh, grouped by contractor. Uh, he, he could also choose to uh, present it by discipline. For example, Goethe, if you do that. Um, also, then you see it changes from, uh, from contractor to discipline. Also, you can see total. And for example, if you click on the late one, you can. it's not, uh, it's not a late, late show, but it's showing which um, punch items uh, are more than four. It's more than 14 days since it's been completed. So this is a really good, you can drill down if you click up on the right corner in this gray little icon, you can see the menu for the everything that's in within uh, these uh, type of curves and graphs. Really not part of the native app itself, but really, really nice things to, to, to join there, to have in there. So if we click on, on the check uh, list, checklists and um, icon, um, <clears throat> here we see all mechanical completion checklist. Uh, if if we had if we click on the top left corner on the little arrow, we can see that we can switch between mechanical completion and commissioning there. So if we just click back on completion on the other one, you will see commissioning there. And uh, we have no commissioning checklist here, but if you click back on commissioning uh, on mechanical completion, so this is how we can switch between MC and commissioning. Uh, yes, so. As you see here, we have 7,713 checklists 
in this uh, available in this app. So to filter down, we could go down in the lower right corner to click on a new filter button. Um, on top there, if you click on search and put in 200, then you, we will see. Uh, then we will see all the subsystems. Uh, oh, sorry, I was uh, maybe uh, uh, sorry. I was thinking click on the subsystems first and then click 200. That was the intention. And then search within subsystems for 200. Yes, and if you choose, for example, 2678. Yes, and go back. And now we see it, it goes from 7,229 records. If we click apply, it's these 129 that is showing. Uh, if we go down, you can see the, the red ones with the O in the middle. That's outstanding, not started yet. The orange with an S, that, that is in a signature process. Because also on the checklist, uh, they are in. Um, uh, you can have uh, several parties in, in the projects verifying that this is OK, so uh, you could have up to five signature groups. So uh, here we see that this is this signature process have already started. So if we click on this 20 FIA 40, 5747. Uh, we open this checklist. Uh, also, uh, for you guys that have seen the old one a bit new here, uh, we have these tabs on top, which is I feel is quite cool, where we can now see the information and we can click to see the engineering data, uh, which really is, is imported from various engineering sources. And then we see the documents and drawings. It's also the intention here that we can click the drawings. Oh, yeah, there they are. Good, Gota. Uh, maybe you can just open one of them. If we're there. Don't see anything more now, but um, let's just say up the med here, I go there. Yeah, um, OK, we went back. Wouldn't do it. OK, not sure what happened up as it is in development. We maybe have to expect a couple of small hiccups. Also on files, uh, we have this tag files. I have also attached one. Maybe will it be the same thing there? At least I've tested that one myself. Uh, also just to show that we can have a drawing or whatever in, in the tag files as long as it's a PDF. Uh, there seems to be a, a bug with the in-app uh, viewer. It's supposed to open the PDF uh, inside the okay. CMS application, okay. but it doesn't do it currently. No worries, no worries. But uh, again, when doing it on my Android here that I can't <laughs> show you, it worked fine. But the whole idea here is that we have these tabs on top showing information. And then, the, of course, the most important thing is this check items where you can tick off OK if it's OK or punch list. Uh, and then not applicable is the gray one if the, it's not OK uh, or if it's not uh, applicable for this for this uh, t specific equipment. This checklist can be small or big. That's up to the project to, to define. This is looking quite similar to the one that we have on, on web today. Also, this, at the end, we have this signature matrix that I mentioned. Uh, in this case, we have two steps. Uh, this is also, in my mind, much looking much more better in this new uh, native uh, app. If you click on the contract on our Goethe, also we can see that this is signed by Trevor the, uh, in 2019. Uh, if you click, click the location tab, we can see where Tre Trevor has signed this. Hopefully it's not the pub, uh, but it's the office. Uh, we don't know that, but um, we hope we hope so. Good. Um, so. You can close that. So these these are the new checklist. We have still uh, some work to do here, um, we, uh, but editing and so on. But but uh, the concept itself is in place. Anything more you want to add to that, Kyoto? Uh The dynamic tables also works in the checklist items, oh, so yes. they, they will be displayed on the native app as well. Fantastic. Very good. Perfect. 
Okay, let's go back. Uh, if we then go, go to the next uh, icon, which is the punch items. And you click on the uh, filter again, go to. And on the top there, you see we also have a smart tag reader, uh, which means that we uh, just click on it, which means that we can actually either use NFC scanner or the QR code scanner. In this case, we had a little test on the QR code and uh, we have a tag prepared. Uh, there it is. And per today, you have to go back and click apply. Do you see one record and it finds it? So this is says messed up, needs total revamp. So if we click that one, uh, here again, you have some metadata. Uh, if you go to files, there is a, because a lot for punch items, it's very, really important that you take a picture and document what's wrong. So here we have a damaged equipment. Then if, if you open it, go to. Ah, doesn't work. Yes, there it is. So as you see, uh, I'm not sure if we need to replace it totally or if we can, it's, it's able to be fixed. But uh, this is uh, typically what they do if they have some issues with something, they go in and take a picture to document it. So if you go back to punch item info um, and click edit, you see that we have uh, uh, drop down boxes for more almost everything because this is not much of free text. It's only the comments and the, the remarks, which is uh, free. The rest is more like drop down. So if you click, for example, on discipline, uh, you will see how the drop down box works. It, it fills the whole screen, but that's okay. That's how it works. So just go back. So we have drop down boxes for each, each, more or less each field. Um, up on the top, you see it's cleared, means that it's uh, orange, which means it's in the in the process. And the same way here, we this is also probably a bit uh, uh, changed from from the concept that we have in the, in the old one. But we have this electronic signatures, which is working more or less the same as uh, oh, now. Now we have actually the same two clearance and verification. And in the same way, on if you click on clearance, uh, go to. You can open the location tag there as well. I, I just uh, tested it today. So now we can see where we are actually located here in Ölensvog if you zoom out a bit. Not sure that everyone knows where it is, but uh, even more, just even more the, down. So we see Norway. Yeah. There. Yeah. So this is where we are sitting and doing our little demo today. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, uh, go one. There was a, a question. Um, are you up for some questions? Yes. Offline support. Yes, that was a good question. <laughs> we do not have that now. Well, <laughs> the, the some of uh, we know that actually this native app is, is strong on offline app, uh, offline support, and and we have uh, when doing this framework for this new Flutter app. Uh, this has been with this offline in mind. By now, or the first phase of this project is to do an online version, and we have set a date for 1st October for this to be complete. Um, and then the next release is uh, coming with uh, <laughs> offline. See, he was fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so so the 1st October we should have the first phase with the online version ready uh, and then we we probably would require one to two months to 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 complete the offline version, but uh, it has been we have all it it will be done also. OK, uh, second question, can user record measured values for MCCR check items? Yes, that was the dynamic tal uh, tables that uh, Goethe mentioned. Uh, maybe we could see if we can find a checklist with a table on it. It is works the same if you uh, are familiar with the Windows, oh, sorry, web version of it, it will work the same way. And there you see a table. Cool. Mm -hmm. And you can. And behind, the, we can even have drop downs where you can, it's, it's configured, so you can have drop downs where you can have predefined values or you can edit it without having predefined 
So this is good. And this is saved then in this table really, not not on the checklist itself, but it's within the checklist table. Okay. Um, maybe go back again, uh, Goethe. Uh, yes. Uh, if you click on the next icon. Um, Yes, that's only the tag rate, so I don't think we need to go into it. All, all the tags, all the equipment of the whole database is in there and it shows everything, all the metadata, all the drawings, everything, all the punch items, all the preservation. So I'm not, not sure if we need to go into that one. And, and, um, and I think we are also kind of getting into the time limit of yes. our 20 minutes, uh, eight minutes past. Good, so uh, th that's it for us. But as a, as a wrap up, then you said 1st of October is the release of the first version, which yes. then will uh, will start uh, doing piloting with the clients. That's correct. Uh, and and uh, on, on a parallel, the work with the offline support yes. will be done. So maybe uh, also I need a handful of you of like completion uh, develops or users like around maybe the 15th of September that can can have an access and, and download it to help us testing. So we are a bit more prepared for for 1st of October. So please contact me. Good. And then uh, as a small kind of wrap up then, as, as you mentioned in the in the start head, one of the reasons for you to have this native application versus the, the web which is existing today is a uh, better and simpler offline capabilities, uh, but also utilizing the native capabilities of the device like NFC and barcode and, and maybe in the future some augmented reality. We're showing uh, tags live in the camera would be a cool feature. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then uh, we are uh, say thank you. Thank you. And um, Anything else we uh, should do? No, no? I think no? Uh, that was uh, it for today and uh, next Friday. Yeah, we have more news to come. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, and then uh, have a good weekend. Yes, bye bye. Bye.